Hello friends. So today is my last day of finals. I have been studying and I've already taken four finals. Thank goodness. And right now I am going to take my fifth, my final, my last final. Praise God. I am so ready to be on summer break. And so I just... I spent a long time just like getting prepared for this final. It's kind of massive. Like, I'll show you guys all the note cards I made. Just a butt ton of note cards. Going through all our class notes. This is for my class Bible intro at Moody Bible Institute. And so, yeah, I'm just going to take the final right now. And me and Taylor were talking about this channel, Coffee Girls and how we really want to do um, summer vlogging. And so this is going to be the first summer vlog. I'm ending my last final and jumping into summer. So come along with me and yeah, I'm going to take this final. I'm going to be praying that the Lord will get me through it and um, just jumping right into summer. So I'm so happy about that. And I'm hoping that this summer we can come out with two summer vlogs a week. So I'll do a vlog, a summer vlog a week, and then Taylor will do a summer vlog a week. And it'll just be a fun time for you guys to come along with us. Um, I guess kind of like Vlogmas, but summer miss, and not as often. But yeah, so. exhausted I am seriously drained from school anybody else can relate I'm done I'm done with finals I was gonna take a summer class but I'm like nope no I need a break and I'm so happy so I just finished that quiz it took quite a long time I'm now going to eat some lunch and then I'll catch back up with you guys. As you can see I just cleaned the kitchen and I finished cooking this soup so I did have a piece of peanut butter toast for lunch just to tide me over we just have barely any food left right now we have to go grocery shopping and um, I just saw a lot of like random foods in our fridge a lot of random vegetables so I was like okay i'll just throw everything together and see if we have soup stuff we had beans we had um just a lot of good soup stuff so i was like okay i'll make a soup 
as you can see, what I did for this soup was I chopped up a bunch of vegetables, onions, peppers, zucchini, and just put them on a low simmer in the pan with oil. Just let that simmer. And then, did I add anything else? Garlic. Let me look. Just, oh, and um, cabbage. You put cabbage in there too. This is a very, very, very healthy, good for you soup. And so, um, cabbage as well. Honestly, whatever veggies you have in your fridge that are going, you know, are gonna go back bad and you're not gonna be able to eat them, make a soup out of it. it. Tastes so good. Then what did I do? Then I added in salsa, which is so salsa, not salsa, um, marinara sauce, which is very random, but if you add marinara sauce to soups, amazing. Tomato paste I added, I added um uh to just cut up tomatoes and another tomato thing in a can can you tell i'm not a chef um and then i added chicken broth and vegetable broth and then i added some rice stuff to the mix and yeah i think that's about all i added honestly oh beans don't forget beans if you want that good protein source and that good um, just fiber, protein, um, also carb source too. So yeah, that's the soup I made. I'm going to let it just, I'm going to put it on simmer for a little bit and just let it sit for a bit. So I have a lot of plans for the summer. I have a lot of things floating around in my head. A lot of things I want to do. Um, just a lot of things I want to do for coffee and Bible time, but also books I want to read, painting I want to do, just a lot of things. And um, I really want to stay, I also want to stay, continue um, in my healthy fitness journey and just healthy all over journey. I've been um, making some good progress and just um, growing to love working out and just feeding my body healthy, good foods, especially after recovering from binge eating two years of just on and off binging i haven't binged in a in a really long time since i started therapy so i am just going strong with a healthy lifestyle right now and i'm praising the lord for that um, i will not take that for granted but anyways what i'm saying is that I have a lot of goals for this summer, a lot of things I wanna do that I know won't happen if I'm not um, writing them down and, and keeping on track with these goals. So I think I'm gonna make a little something to keep all my goals organized. And if it turns out good, I'll put it on my website to let you guys have a free printable version of it. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Also, if you didn't know, I'm a one on the Enneagram. So that's why I'm about to make a list of goals for the summer just my personality type. I like to be organized. I like to get done as much mo the most as I can. So that's what I'm doing right now. you guys what I came up with for my summer goals list and actually what I did was as I was making mine I created the template for you guys to be able to print out if you want to at home so I'll have the link down below it's free I think the link will just take you right on over to my website do you hear that person lawn mowing outside like right by my house right when I turn the camera on too. <sighs> It'll 
be a PDF printable. So it looks like this. Let me make that a little bigger. Summer 2020 list of things I want to accomplish and then the little chart that you can end up filling in. And I'll just show you what mine turned out to be. So the first thing I did was I actually just made a list of the things I wanted to do this summer for coffee and Bible time, for my quiet time, for reading, for exercising, for painting. And so just like a list, like just a rough list. And essentially that's what this is. I just made it look a little cuter for you guys. So this is just a page to roughly sketch out. Okay, what do I want to do this summer? What's on my list of things I want to accomplish? and things like that it doesn't it literally can just be your thoughts spilling out on paper from there i kind of tweaked my goals and put them all on this goal chart for the summer so i kind of just narrowed it down to this and i want to hang this up in my room or somewhere where i'll see it and it's a sticker chart or you could just put a check mark if you don't have a sticker but um, every week I want to do something to um, contribute to this goal. So not every week do I want to run a 5k, but every week I want to run for the sake of, okay, I want to run a 5k one day. Um, and so these are just like the rest of my goals list, like I want to be in daily prayer. And by no means am I going to do this perfectly, but a sticker will go on each week that I I will evaluate myself and just say, did I do good in in um, running this week? Did I run so I can accomplish my 5K goal? If I did, yes, put a sticker. If not, no sticker. Stickers really motivate me. Um, and so what this is is just the two weeks left in May, May week one, week two, and then the four weeks of June, June week one, two, three, and four, July uh, week one, two, three and then the next page july 4 fourth week and then august first week august second week and so just hoping to fill those in with stickers if i don't accomplish each goal perfectly that is totally okay the point of this is not to accomplish each goal perfectly the the point of it for me is to have my goals literally written down and then a checkpoint where i can come back weekly to say am i accomplishing these goals one thing that i thought was really cool was that this kind of showed me how much time i have this summer i have a lot of time to do things to get things done and to do things that also fill up my cup that's why a lot of things these things aren't just like do this job or do this exercise but it's like paint and do a bible study things like that that I actually enjoy doing but I want to write down because I don't want to get to the end of the summer and look back and say wow I had all that time I didn't accomplish anything so that's why I have it all written down if you guys want to reach a big goal like a 5k or a marathon or um, reading your Bible every day take small little baby steps to get to that larger goal you can't just overcome like you can't just accomplish a massive goal like for me if i tried to run a marathon tomorrow i would die that's why i need to make little goals like run for five minutes tomorrow maybe that's all i can do and that's okay but i want to encourage you guys to at least make small goals this summer that you can accomplish and that you can continue to just grow and yeah so that's what I have, free printable, link down below. So I just finished um, editing and vlogging a video for coffee and Bible time, editing and posting, vlogging, whatever. Um, it is a video about my mom vlogging. Did you guys see it? What did you guys think? Comment down below what you guys thought about it. And if you didn't see it, I'll have it linked in the description or right here. Um, so right now I am currently cleaning my room and um, it because of finals and everything going on it got really dirty I'll show you guys oh 
Oh goodness, so things on my bed. Books piling up over there. My bookshelf got really full. Yeah, and just things need to get back to back together but um I was actually thinking about painting this wall white what do you guys think about that let me know in the comments if I should paint that wall white I kind of just think it'll make my room look more open and just I don't know I just don't know if I'm loving the blue anymore um the rest of my room is white as you can see let me know what you think I should do but as I clean I think I'm gonna end the vlog here just because I from the last like month or so i've gotten vlog footage of me like starting just to minimalize and starting to just get rid of things and really just declutter this place and i really do want to minimalize i'm not like a normal minimalist who obviously gets rid of everything i don't know if i can ever get to that point but i am trying to minimalize decuddle de de decuddle declutter and so I'm going to turn the camera off here and get footage for that other series I want to start, which is going to be like a declutter minimalize with me series. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Love you guys and I will see you very soon. Bye.